Hello YouTube, this is Kashif here from Care Graphics, and I'm back with another video. And this one is a Care Graphics Quickie. For the past few, for the past few weeks, I've been using ZBrush 448, especially for its new live Boolean tools. But with all of that, there's also been other changes as well to the software. And if you're like me, I love I love the idea that ZBrush is a very exploratory program that allows you to explore all the tools and tricks in in, in, the, in the software. Like right now. I have a character model here that you probably, you probably recognize him. This is the um, another character, another version of the wizard you saw in episode three in my art and graphics series. And ever since I created this character, there there have been there have actually new workflow enhancements that I've been integrating in my workflow, and that is subtool grouping. Now you probably noticed if you saw the live my last video of um, live booleans, I dem I demonstrated that, you know, which is great. So if we look at your subtool palette here, you'll see the other eyeballs on the on your model. So if I click one eyeball, that only hides the current subtool. In the order version of ZBrush, if you click that eyeball on the current subtool, it deletes all, it hides all of them. This is kind of good if you want to hide just one subtool and work with the rest. So I'm gonna hide this back on and I hold the shift key and click the eyeball again. And that will make everything disappear everything disappear. This is great, you know, especially if you want to isolate something. But now in four or eight, we can now I have we can we can now not only use the subtool panel for live booleans, we can also group them. So right now, if you look at my panel here, you see I have the boots selected, and there's a little there's a little button here called with arrow keys. If I click that, it basically creates a parent subtool. And any subtool below this in the stack is automatically its child. This is useful in live booleans where you, we, we, we do booleans. You don't want any booleans above the, above the stack affecting this. So essentially, it's not the boolean process over again. However, this time, this little button here has now parented all the all the subtools below it. So if I go ahead and change, um, let me see if I can. If I can well, unfortunately, you can unfortunately, but so if, I can, so if I go ahead and click on the tow pipe, this is a part of the zone, hit start. Notice how the number now changes to four. That means the tow pipe now is now a parent subtool to ones below. Let's so check that. So, one of the powerful things about this about subtool grouping, besides the live booleans, is we can, we can basically hide a group of objects at one time. This is great if you want to like um, hide like a complex cyber arm, and you don't feel like you don't feel like you know clicking through all all the pieces and trying to hide them at once and holding holding shift and hiding all the objects hiding them one at a time. This is useful for arranging your subtools. So if I go ahead and click the eyeball for the boots high, actually let me do that real quick. If I go to any any child list below, I don't know why this doesn't work for some reason. If I go here. Let's say to the studs or straps of the boots, and I hide this right here. It will hide all the subtools under under this parent. So if I go up here to the body, no boots, no shoes whatsoever. And I could basically go ahead and unhide it again, and you'll see it all. So remember that if you want if you want to hide any subtool groups like boots or anything else while you're working on another part of the body, you can go ahead. Click the eye, but make sure you hit this first, start button first, and then click it, boom. The boots are now gone. And that's pretty much it. You know, you know this is this would be great this would also be great for hiding subtools and grouping things together that belong, like legs, clothing parts, and so forth. So that being said, that was the that was it. The carry out quick I want to show you tonight. Um, as always, if you like the video and you find it useful, please hit a like. If you hated it, think it sucks, give it a thumbs down, and I'll be sure to do better next time. And also, if you have any questions about my workflow, please leave a question in the comments below. You know, I, I love I love good feedback, and it helps me do better. And please subscribe. So, with that being said, I'm Kishi from KR Graphics. Have a wonderful evening. God bless. I'll see you next time. Bye.